Sewing tension can be tricky. You have to set it before every project and it varies based on the fabric you're using. So in this video, let's just do a quick review. By definition, sewing tension is the amount of thread that passes through the sewing machine to create each stitch. To make each stitch work, you need a top thread and a bottom thread, and they need to harmoniously balance each other and meet exactly in the middle of the fabric to get a good stitch. It's important because if there's an imbalance, then the tension of one of them will pull it through to the other side of the fabric. And if that happens, you're gonna get a poor quality stitch and possibly a stitch that doesn't hold. The dial ranges from zero to nine. I'd say four is like your most commonly used tension. It's gonna be probably the most suited for most fabrics. And the bottom tension is usually factory set. So we never usually touch that. All you do is increase or decrease the top tension. So I'm gonna show you a little bit about how to set the tension and what to look for. Now, tension of two for this kind of fabric is definitely too loose, but I wanna do it anyways to show you what it'll look like. So when you're troubleshooting, you see a mistake like this, you'll know what the reason is. When you see the top thread underneath, that's when you know the top thread is too loose because you have the two threads pulling each other. If the top one's too loose, the bottom one's gonna have more pull, thus pulling the top thread to the bottom of the fabric. That's why you can see bits of brown across here. It's from the top thread on the top. And another way you could tell is if we can pull out this thread easily, I'm skipping like four or five stitches and I can pull out the thread. That's how we know it's too loose. Now let's show you the opposite. Now if the top tension is too tight, so you have the two threads, the top thread here and the bottom thread being pulled. And if the top tension has more tension than the bottom, it'll bring that bottom thread up so you so you actually see it at the top of the fabric. And it's kind of hard to see, but you could see dots of red, and that's the bottom fabric. Can't speak today. And that's the bottom fabric coming up to the top. Some general guidelines for tension. The thicker the fabric is, the more likely you're gonna have a higher tension because again, the bottom setting is factory set. So the top tension needs more tension to bring it up into the middle of this thick fabric. For working with denim, I would say four is probably your best bet. Anything from the four to six range, once you start getting past six, the top tension gets a little bit too tight that the thread on top is just gonna look like a flat line. For lightweight fabrics, you wanna lower the tension so that it brings it down a little bit more. I would still say start at four and then work your way down to three or two. In most cases, when you're testing new fabric or even fabric you're familiar with, start at four and then adjust accordingly based on a few test samples. Because there's a, a long list of different fabrics, I'll post a quick little note in the description with a few different fabrics and tensions and whatnot to consider. I have a balaclava and more DIY tutorials coming up, so stay tuned and subscribe. And until next time, peace.